What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone. This is tutorial 56 and today's topic will be how to use or how to run Mistral 7 billion parameter model without GP using Langchain. Okay, so I believe in the last tutorial or maybe uh, not exactly the last tutorial, maybe before that I have shown you guys how to use Mistral uh, model from your local computer and that time I probably mentioned that if you are not using a GPU enable machine then probably it will be very slow and again if you also have gpu then also it will be a little bit uh, faster but yeah you have to actually face the performance or efficiency kind of issue okay so i got a uh, lot of requests that uh, that ronnie i didn't have uh, i don't have this uh, like super powerful or resource uh, like full uh, laptop how can we do this and all so one of the option is actually just go ahead and uh, uh, spin up on ec2 instance from aws or maybe any cloud instance and you will get the uh, like um, what do you say like uh, gpu enabled uh, resources but that will be a little bit expensive and one of the another option uh, 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 okay so another option is actually we can rent and uh, rent up like cpu or something in cloud and you can do it and all these things are actually cost oriented so actually i came up with this approach this is a, not a new approach but i never uh, actually use this thing for my tutorial videos mostly i use this thing for my uh, like um, for my company or for my clients and i thought of actually doing this thing uh, in this tutorial so this is the uh, first time uh, i'm actually showing you guys how to actually uh, use any open source llm uh, which can be uh, directly run from your computer but again uh, there are little bit tweak i'll be going to explain you in the next part of the series not uh, next part of this tutorial so just stay tuned and watch this tutorial okay so what do we exactly do so we, we will use hugging face models and api obviously all our llms are actually downloaded from hugging face so here i'll be going to introduce a new thing something called hugging face api so basically in hugging face we have an option called like serverless endpoint so basically you don't need a server you will get an api uh, endpoint and you will be going to get an api key and after that you directly hit that endpoint using your api key and your llm will be loaded and after that you will get the same experience just like openai okay and again it's a free thing yeah obviously in hugging face if you are going to use some dedicated model you are developing some like custom application where the application is going to require like multiple hit requests to your llm that time you will be requiring a dedicated endpoint but mostly if you are doing some uh, study purpose or learning purpose then probably you can use serverless public endpoint those are completely free okay so free and also it will be faster and also you'll be able to learn any gpu uh, uh, sorry you'll be able to load any gpu right sorry you'll be load any llm without gpu okay yeah obviously the gpu will be used from hugging face and uh, like uh, infrastructure so you don't have to worry so create api hugging face key load llm using hugging face endpoint and test the llm so let's actually start with the actual part so what i'll do i'll be just going to minimize this thing and let's open this thing so this is a hugging face.co and after that, I'll just search with this model, Mr. 7 billion parameter instead V2, V.02 model. And I'll be going to show you guys how to use this model with Langchain from my local computer. Okay. So for that, you have to just go to the model page. And after that, you have to click on deploy. And after that, you have to click inference API serverless, right? And you have to remember this thing. Okay. After that thing, we have to just copy this thing. Okay. That's it your job is done okay and obviously you will be going to require an api key so how to create an api key if you click on api key you will get the api key so i'll show you here but after the tutorial i'll just delete the api key so that you should not use my api key again but uh, it is uh, it is not the uh, right way of doing it because in the production environment you have to load the api key using certain sort of environment file but for the sake of tutorial i'll just going to show you everything so what i'll do i'll just going to open this thing Okay, not here. So here, and we'll be going to start writing the code from here. Okay. So first thing, we'll be going to require some new model. Okay. So that is what. Uh, that is actually uh, sorry, not new model, new module. Okay. So that is probably uh, the something called uh, Langchain. So maybe from Langchain. Okay. Dot. 
okay so this is actually very slow i don't know why okay just hold on i think i need to import the right python module okay okay the same problem is here actually okay i think this is my module no this is not my module okay, okay i don't know what problem is there again okay okay so lang chain then llms okay then import so i'm just doing very slowly so basically it should be hugging face and endpoint right so basically hugging face endpoint is a module which will help you to actually load the llm okay so basically uh just hold on i think i did a mistake here so lang chain dot lang chain underscore it should be Langchain underscore community underscore LLMs, then like this hugging. What is that hugging face endpoint? Uh, it is hugging face uh, hub endpoint, something like that. So basically, uh, I don't know. Okay, so now it is not like that. So let me. Uh, write this thing in a different way so h u g g i n g h u g g i n g hugging then actually face okay and then hugging face endpoint okay I don't know why my intelligence is actually not working okay uh, ideally this should work but I don't know what is the problem here this is not working so I think I should okay okay so what I'll do I'll just try to load the endpoint and check whether it is uh, getting this thing or not mm. Okay, no, I think I'm doing something wrong here. Uh, okay, so basically, oh, okay, I understand now why this is not helping. So, hugging face endpoint, import hugging face endpoint. Now it is working. Okay, so sometimes it is difficult. Okay, so now what we'll do, we're just going to load the LLM. So, LLM, LLM equals to hugging this one, hugging face endpoint, right? Um, I think. Mm, this is going to in capital H, I believe so. Yes, so capital H. Sorry, guys, sorry for, for the confusion because my intelligence is actually not working and I don't like to remember uh, this sort of things without any sense. Okay, so okay, right, like this. Now, all these things are mentioned here. So, basically, first URL will be first parameter will be endpoint URL. Okay, then probably a comma. Then next will be task. Okay, so obviously my task will be ta uh, text generation. So maybe I can write text. Okay, then generation. Okay, like this. And then what we'll do? We'll do max new tokens. Okay, and we'll just write six zero nine six. Okay, and then. Will be going to write hugging face hub API token. All done, right? Everything is done. So first thing first, we'll be going to put the API endpoint first. Okay. So we'll go here, and this is the URL. Okay, API URL. Let's copy this thing. Okay. Done. Then API token. So API token is very easy. So what I'll do. Uh, I'll just click show API token so you will get it from here again but if you want to create just click here new it will give you the token okay that's it okay so now I will just put it here so this is done I believe so all done so let's actually uh, do this thing let's see whether i'm getting any error or not so, so login is successful see login successful means a, a to LM in, lm is actually working fine right no problem with the llm right 
so next thing we'll be going to create a prompt okay so let's actually write a prompt template okay so from langchain dot prompts import so what you will be going to import import prompt template okay prompt template so we'll be going to now create a prompt template so let's see we'll be going to write end pt stands for prompt template right so we'll be going to write something like this so you are an intelligent uh, and funny uh, comedian who can crack one liner jokes with any language uh, given as any language asked by the user okay mm -hmm. okay to generate the jokes use language mentioned by user okay that's it it's done now what will be going to happen so we'll be going to create a prompt P R O M D T prompt so prompt will be prompt template dot from template and there we'll be going to put P N T right all our things are done now what will be going to write so uh, I think this is done up to this point this is done now basically our prompt is ready our template is ready now what we'll be going to write so we'll be going to just write something called a, a message okay so basically uh, we'll be going to write message message is a variable message so basically it will be going to be format using this prompt dot format and there i'll be going to write this uh, what do you, what what is that this language so this language okay this language equals to maybe just like English okay okay and then what will actually going to happen so we'll be going to simply uh, write uh, LLM dot invoke okay and we'll be going to write message right so basically first it will going to create a jokes in English language okay and maybe what I can do here uh, we can just simply access here and we're just going to print this x okay so nothing very complicated but I'll show you guys how these things are powerful okay so let's do it so login successful so uh, ask me for a joke in English all right why why don't scientists start atoms why not AI because they make up everything okay so maybe let's uh, let's learn in Hindi okay let's see it's my national language so let's ask it so it is going to write something in Hindi I don't know whether it will be able to do it or not but let's see okay okay so it is writing okay so I think it is not no need to actually do it so let's ask something in a different language let's say let's ask something in uh, Deutsch means German 
okay okay so let's see okay so it's been stand up comic care so yeah it's doing so <laughs> this is funny okay so let's let's do uh, let's try to do it in my mother tongue which is bengali let's see whether it is able to do it or not okay so it is writing yeah so it is able to do it but here actually some uh, uh, encoded string star uh, in, in encoded string star the encoded strings are actually coming okay right so that's all guys so here hope you understand how to actually uh, load your like uh, llm and which is actually powerful llm so basically this mistral 7 billion parameter you can use up to 32k means 32000 uh, context length okay or context window so basically if you are uh, trying to uh, like uh, build a rag uh, from let's say uh, like let's say 5000 5, pages pdf or you want to do some some question answering over some like very big document that probably you can use this context window and this model will be super powerful for that and basically if you want to load this model from your uh, uh, computer then it will be very uh, slow and if you want to do it from your gpu driven machine then probably you have to actually arrange a very powerful computer okay yeah obviously you can run it from a 32 gb like uh, mac m1 yeah for windows and nvidia i i, I don't have any idea about how much uh, processor or other things you are going to require because i'm much very much comfortable with uh, this mac m1 it's uh, comparatively little bit faster uh, if you compare this thing with any windows computer but yeah obviously um, some uh, performance always going to be degraded and if you are doing some uh, like continuous operation so after some time your uh, computer is actually going to be a little bit slow you can't even like move your mouse as well so that is why I don't want to actually mess up with my personal cam computer or laptop. I prefer using this sort of cloud driven service and Hugging Face is actually a very good initiative by the company of the community who, uh, like whatever you can call them. We can learn, we can uh, get some data set, even we can train our models, we can get some nice innovative ideas from their documentation. So probably in next couple of videos I'll be going to do something with the Hugging Face and I have a plan to actually create a dedicated playlist on hugging face tutorial okay so probably it will be super fun okay so with that note i will be going to conclude the video over here again the same thing just simple ask if you are watching this uh, video or if you are coming to my channel for the first time guys please try to subscribe to my videos uh, uh, sorry subscribe to my channel uh, like my videos share my videos with your friend try to put some comment good or bad doesn't matter it has to be honest one if these videos are helping you please let us know and if you think something uh, needs to be done in a uh, different way please uh, that also uh, you should let us know so that you can come back in our next video with like much better content because i also look forward to actually improve our quality in upcoming videos as well only request please try to subscribe to my channel so that i can gain like large number of audience and so that actually my channel reachability will increase and ultimately google will start promoting my videos as per the organic uh, algorithm tools okay so it's a request guys please 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 try to subscribe to my channel okay so with that note i'll be just going to conclude the video over here we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye have a nice day and happy learning thank you take care Thank you.